Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary DNA. To get this gun, you will have to play on Mayhem 6 or higher. If you play on anything lower, this gun will not drop. Anyways, to get the gun, you want to farm General Trant, and he can be found at Desolation's Edge. So yeah, let's head over and get the gun. Alright, so what you're going to do is head over to Desolation's Edge, and we're going to head right over here on the map. And now you can actually go to Tazendir Ruins and backtrack if you want to get here, but um, it doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want. So yeah, I'll head over and I'll meet you guys when I get there. Again, make sure you guys are playing on Mayhem 6 or higher. Otherwise, you cannot get the gun. Alright, so we made it over and you're going to hit this save right here. So when you save quit, you're going to spawn right here. Cool, let's take him on. Hopefully we get a first run. If not, you know, not a big deal. We'll keep farming. Alright, spray him down with the Monarch. And there's the kill. Now I do see a legendary on the minimap. Could it be the one? Uh, nope. Alright, we didn't get it, so I will keep farming. Uh, nope. Oh wait, there it is right there. Hey, we got it, cool. Alright, let me clear out the enemies and we'll check it out. We have ourselves the DNA. Damage, pretty high. Accuracy, okay. Handling, average. Reload time, a bit slow. Fire rate, low. And mag size, 24. Red text is, death cannot be contained. Bonus, weapon charge speed. Consumes 2 ammo per shot. Bonus, melee damage. Projectile speed. And 2.9 times weapon zoom. Also, this gun will always be listed as non-elemental. Alright, so the weapon looks okay to a typical Malawan SMG with the blade on it. Uh, similar to the Cutsman, it has a yellow-gray theme, and I think it looks okay. I like it. So for this gun, when you shoot it, it's going to shoot out a random element, and it's going to be all the elements except for radiation. Also, they wave as they travel too. Now, the gun is called DNA, so it does have a helix pattern. Alright, so we're on Mahem 10. Here's the modifiers I have, and here's the version I have for my flak right here and we're gonna go ahead and push forward and i'm gonna say now this gun is a bit hard to use enemies move around and the bullets travel very slow and you can see the damage is not the best yeah so i did a lot of testing on this gun and i'm gonna say now it does not have damage output for mayhem 10. fade away so we're gonna have that on and do that Let's see what happens and it's still pretty sad this guy's not even like a tougher enemy either He's a general mob. So for bossing, this thing is not going to be good. All right, what about like a simpler enemy? Uh, it slowly got the kill. Takes about two magazines. Also, the conditions were perfect there too. He wasn't moving. And that doesn't happen very often. All right, we're going to go ahead and call it there early. <laughs> I did test it on Sane 2 and it was still the same. So final thoughts on the DNA. It needs a buff. For being a Mayhem exclusive weapon, it should perform a lot better. Maybe if you farm this weapon on Mayhem 6 and used it for Mayhem 6, it might perform okay. But even then, the projectiles are slow and the accuracy is pretty bad. Overall, I would not recommend this weapon at this current point in time. So hopefully down the line, we'll get a buff on this. So yeah, go ahead and try it out for yourself. You might like it or you might not. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like because that would be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day and I will see you all later. Peace out.